Welcome to the Dr. Julia Nava Learning Academy 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Today, we celebrate our culminating class of 2020. And now, our national anthem performed by Nivania Pumphrey. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose pop tribes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets break a lid, the boats were spinning in air, came through through the That was beautiful, Navania. Greetings, families, faculty, staff, and the culminating class of 2020. My name is Veronica Vega, and I will be your Masters of Ceremony. Now, let's welcome Mr. Rafael Alvarez, Principal at Dr. Julian Nava Learning Academy. Hello, boys and girls, parents, and family members. Today, we come to you from an empty stage here at JNLA. Empty because it's missing the most important part of our school, our students. Our eighth graders have been working really hard since kindergarten to get to this point. And they were going to have their moment this June. They were gonna walk across the stage, be able to look out into the audience, see smiles, hear cheers, claps, perhaps see some tears. And then life made other plans, forcing all of us to adapt and to change. My promise to our eighth graders, when it's safe and we're able to, we will bring you back and you will have your moment here at JNLA and you will walk across our stage, I promise. Eighth graders, as you prepare for your journey into high school, everyone here at JNLA is very proud and very excited. We're looking forward to the many things you'll accomplish. I know you're gonna fight like heck to make this a better world for all of us. Remember, the future belongs to the youth. Season, to our teachers, I want to thank you for all your hard work and effort. You've been amazing in such an extraordinary year. To our parents, thank you for all your support. And as you move on to high school with your children, I want you to know we are here for you. Boys and girls, you've heard me say this many times. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and now more than ever, be kind to one another. Remember, we're Phoenix, and we rise when we lift others up. I wish you all the best and I love you all. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Now I would like to introduce the salutatorian. This student has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement during middle school and is the second highest ranked in the entire culminating class. I am proud to introduce our first student speaker, the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Jonathan Calixto. My name is Jonathan Calixto and it is my pleasure to welcome you, fellow staff, friends, guests, to the virtual culminating ceremony of, of the class of 2020. Thanks for being here from the comfort of your home. 
Due to the current circumstances, things will have to occur in a different manner, even though I do hope all of you are safe and healthy. I will start by saying the average thing said in most school teachers. Middle school for some gets to be a perfect experience, while for others not so ideal. My years here at JNLA have been very suitable, yet with my amazing days there also came very dreadful occasions. One of those being when I fell in accident into a wet muddy field. I got drenched in putrid smelly brown mud. I looked like a brown Teletubby right after. There was no area where you couldn't see brown. In addition, I couldn't forget about the many nights where I sleep late from the piles of homework due tomorrow. Yet, that was probably my fault from procrastinating. However, I have had some really extraordinary experience here at JNLA. I have achieved to be in multiple honors classes. I have scored high on many tests and I have obviously earned the status of salutatorian. I have, those are a few to name the least. Generally has prepared me to go on to the next chapter of my life, also known as Generally, as high school. Generally has shown and introduced me to many valuable students since the first scary and daunting day of sixth grade. I have opened up to be more going, confident, and I have become more organized. I have become more prepared for what is to come, and I obviously learned not to walk on a wet, muddy field. Generally pushes you to be the best. However, that is thanks to all the amazing and caring teachers here. Every teacher has taught me something new that I will remember and cherish, but probably forget in five months. I will say that teachers would give us a lot of work and homework, though challenging at times they help me succeed and work even harder. I have had many teachers that have pushed me and supported me. I would name a few, but then I would have to name them out. While I have had some astonishing teachers, the greatest were always my parents. They helped me succeed and made me who I am. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I am truly thankful for the amazing parents I have. Even though I may not express it at times, they have demonstrated many things to be kind, caring, determined, and so much more. They have shown me to be hardworking and driven to reach my goals and dreams. They have worked hard every day to give me a good life and supported me, loved me, and cared for me. I appreciate them. All the students that have culminated or will culminate have done a lot of tremendous things to keep on track. We all have the mind to su succeed. As Audrey Hempburn once said, nothing is impossible. The word itself says impossible. Nothing is out of our reach except anything above eight, four feet eight or seven feet. We cannot achieve tremendous things if we work hard, stay driven, and put our all into it. As Martin Luther King once said, I have a dream today. I have a dream today, although more similar to a goal to become a lawyer or an engineer. We don't know what is to come in our future. We might work at McDonald's for 25 years or become the next Elon Musk. Even so, I hope that our future is full of endless opportunity. Thanks for listening. Congratulations. Thank you, Jonathan. And now I would like to introduce to you the next student speaker, our valedictorian, who has earned the highest academic achievement of the 2020 class. I applaud you for what you have accomplished and look forward to hearing even more greater things about you in the future. Dr. Julian Nava Learning Academy's valedictorian for the class of 2020, Saul Castillo. Greetings, valued guests, family members, teachers, generally staff, and not to be forgotten, culminating class of 2020. I feel greatly honored to be here to deliver the valedictorian address on behalf of all my fellow eighth graders. We were able to make it through these interesting and sometimes difficult years while also preparing for the ones ahead with the help and guidance of the people around us. As an appreciation, I would like to give an immeasurable amount of thanks to our JNLA teachers, staff, and parents for making a great year full of events, lunchtime activities, and great learning experiences for the culminating class of 2020 possible. Hopefully, these outgoing and uplifting people are able to provide an even better experience for next year's eighth graders. After all of this, the only phrase that can be uttered is, we did it. We have made it through a great three years full of opportunity and memorable occurrences with the guidance of our once again magnificent teachers, parents, and school staff. Our learning these past three years has not just been limited to academic learning, 
we have become better individuals who hopefully know just a tad bit more about the unknown void known as the real world. We have had some great experiences alongside our classmates, from our most distant peers to our closest friends. But even after everything that has been taught to us in preparation for our futures, there is always one elephant in the room that tops them all. Only you and yourself can govern what you pursue in life's complicated maze. No matter if you pick a nine to five job, a prestigious career, or whatever else your heart desires. Now, once you reach a certain point within that maze, you may feel inclined to look back at these years for comfort, and that's perfectly fine. But I strongly urge that you do not live in these years forever, as it is important to always look to the future for the next chapter in life, and because the cafeteria food isn't exactly gourmet. Well, you knew it was coming. The final farewell. Much work has been done, and much progress has been made. We have done much learning and discovering, while many friendships have been started and grown. But now, it's time to flip the page to the next chapter in life. On behalf of everybody watching, I say goodbye. For teachers, it's a farewell to the students. But as students, we say goodbye to JNLA teachers, staff, and many of our peers, but mostly to our old selves. Thank you. Thank you, Saul. We will continue with the presentation of the special messages to our eighth grade culminating class from their eighth grade teachers. So I'm a graduate of Dr. Julian Nava Learning Academy. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you for making it through this wild ride. If you had me as your math teacher, you will remember that every day, and I mean every single day, I would remind you guys that 8th grade was going to fly by very quick. Even if you didn't have me as your 8th grade math teacher, you can agree that this year has passed by just like those roaring Thunderbird jets flew by us. If you remember, it feels like just yesterday you were getting your clothes ready and your fresh sneakers to walk into Julian Nava and meet your friends and 8th grade teachers. Remember how excited you were to become the big guys on campus? I need you guys to do the same and represent the Phoenix Scholars that you are when you walk into your high schools the following year. When in high school, remember to be nice to everyone and choose your friends wisely. I can tell you from experience that I still have close relationships with friends that I met in grade school. But enough of the mom and pop advice. It's time to remember the good times of Julian Nava and those hallways where we fist bumps, of course, before COVID-19. So let's embrace what we have gotten out of this situation. It has only made us stronger and we have built everlasting relationships with our friends and family. From helping mom and dad cook to spending lots of hours working on homework, or should I say playing video games. Whatever we have done has shown us that when hearts are strike, we will always shine like the phoenix stars that we are. With that being said, I, Mr. Navarro, would like to congratulate you guys once again. I will leave you these humble words of advice. Enjoy your time in high school and make as many friends as you can because it will fly by. Once again, congratulations class of 2020! Now little buddy, it's gonna say congratulations also! Congratulations, JNLA! Hello, JNLA 8th graders. This is Miss Whitney. I just want to wish you the best and encourage you to never give up. Looking forward to hearing about your successes in high school over the next four years. You have what it takes to accomplish your goals and dreams. It has been a pleasure working with you. Congratulations, JNLA Class of 2020. Hello, culminating Class of 2020. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ms. Hernandez. I wanted to congratulate you all for making it this far, and I wanted to wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors. Whatever you decide to do, do your best, do something that makes you happy, helps your family, and improves your community. Stay resilient, stay motivated, be assertive, 
and be kind. Remember, you deserve greatness. Again, congratulations and good luck. Felicidades y suerte. Dearest students, I wish you happiness, joy, and unrelenting perseverance as you continue on your journeys into high school and beyond. Please remember to view any challenge you may endure as an opportunity, as each one will undoubtedly shape your character, your will, and your ability to help others. Go out and rise, Phoenix. Congratulations and good job on surviving middle school. You guys have proven yourselves as Phoenix and have risen to all of the challenges you face and are now stronger and smarter. I'm excited for all the good things that are ahead for you and I know that you will continue to rise as you move on to high school and in your lives. Thank you, teachers, that was wonderful. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the first class speaker for the culminating class of 2020, Melanie Hernandez. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Nelson Mandela. Hello everyone, greetings to my fellow classmates, to the hardworking teachers, to the staff at Jane LA, and of course, to our principal, Mr. Alvarez. I am honored to be one of the students representing the class of 2020, along with Brianna Torres. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank our friends, our family, and community for joining us and supporting us on this remarkable occasion. Today is a very important day that we will remember forever, as we gather here to celebrate our three years in middle school. We're surrounded by individuals who have taught and inspired us to make a difference in the community and the world. You have all been instrumental to our education and we will use this knowledge when we begin high school come August. <sighs> wow. Culmination. To me, culmination is a time to reflect on the past while also looking towards the future. It's a time to dream and to continue holding on to that dream. When I think back to sixth grade, it seems like a distant memory. Many of us were still transitioning from elementary, not fully into middle school mode. These years in JLA have shaped me. They offered me a foundation to explore who I am. I look back and I see how much I've grown and matured, and it's unbelievable to think that in four years, we will be in a similar situation, we graduated from high school. We have all grown and matured these last three years, and four years from now, we will experience more growth and more challenges to mature from. But we should always remember that Jane LA is our home. This is my home, my big three-story home. And although we may not know each other on a personal level, we are a Jane LA family. We are all connected through our experiences, through the desks we sat in, through the texts we all used to study. We all share similar pains and triumphs, and our laughter will continue to echo through the hallways long after we're gone. In all seriousness, culmination has taught us one important thing. That is, to always reach for more than you think you are capable of. As Nelson Mandela has so perfectly put it, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. That is what Dr. Jane LA Learning Academy has taught us, to never give up and to continue being resilient no matter what life throws at us. From a teacher strike to a pandemic, we have to be strong and continue striving for higher education. Even when the situation may seem helpless. Lastly, I just want to give a special thanks to our moms, dads, and family members who have supported us, not only in middle school, but our whole lives. You are the people we continuously rely on. So thank you. To the teachers and staff, thank you for the lessons you have taught us, for allowing us to think for ourselves and for allowing us to advocate for ourselves. On behalf of the class of 2020, 
we are forever grateful. I wish everyone the best. And remember, never stop dreaming. Congratulations, class of 2020. Once a phoenix, always a phoenix. Well done, Melanie. And now, our next class speaker, Brianna Torres, ASB secretary, will give her speech. My name is Brianna Torres, and I am the ASB secretary. I would like to thank all of you for attending this first ever virtual culmination, and hopefully the last. I've had some challenging moments, but the most challenging part for me was waking up in the morning from a nice cozy sleep. I made it through by my mom annoying me saying, get up, you got school today. So I want to thank all the parents and guardians for waking us up every day because we always wanted five more minutes. Thank you parents and guardians for making us go to bed every night and encouraging us to get a good night's sleep. Of course, we're gonna miss the teachers, staff, and students. Some of us are happy to leave and see what life's next chapter has in store for us. I'm going to miss all of the fun times we had, the memories from the field trips, the silly times we had together at lunch. You know, I can go on and on about the good times that I had at JNLA, but it, there's just not any time to list them all. This is a great school. I love trying to make it even better however I could. I admire the teachers for putting up with us modern day teenagers, you know, the ones that are only 13 and 14 years old and swear we know everything and not ever putting a cell phone down. I'm sure sometimes we can be a handful, but thank you for putting up with us. I know sometimes it can be hard. Someone once told me that when you really wanna do something, you'll find a way to do it, no matter how big or little it may be. But when you don't want to do something, you'll find many excuses not to do it. For example, attendance always mattered to me. I didn't live in the area of this school, and I was dedicated to Dr. Julian Nava Learning Academy. I attended this school every day, even when a few incidents got tossed my way due to life. But it's because I always had that Phoenix pride. My next step in high school is to stay in leadership and continue with student body and to play more sports. I am going to achieve more than what I've accomplished during my three years at JNLA. Yes, this is the end of our second chapter. Yes, it's the beginning of our next chapter. Will we think about tomorrow like we do now? Can we survive out there? I guess I thought this year would never end, and suddenly it's like we're all little women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us around? I keep thinking it's not goodbye. It's only time for me to soar. Stay strong, class of 2020, until we meet again. Great job, Brianna. Finally, we have the honor of having Dr. Julian Nava give the final commencement address. Hello. I want to congratulate the students that are graduating now from the Dr. Julian Nava Learning Academy, and also thank the teachers, and encourage the parents and family to keep supporting the graduating class of 2020. This year is very special because here I am at home saying hello to you and wishing all of you well. And this is because of the coronavirus. I imagine that all over the country, graduation ceremonies are taking place <laughs> just like this one. People are home and watching a program rather than in a large auditorium or a large gathering outside. In any case, I'm so proud of you graduating and going on to high school. And I want to, I want to hope that all of you go on to the Dr. Nava College Preparatory Academy, not very far away, but whether or not you go there or somewhere else, I hope that you will continue to read, study, and listen to your teachers because the school buildings and the teachers are there to help you learn but the only one that does any learning <laughs> is you yourself. And 
That reminds me that I have been reading a book that someone lent to me entitled The Teenage Brain. And I wanted to let you know that all of you have a brain which is amazing. It's full of neurons. These are tiny little things that do all the thinking. And they are so tiny that on the point of a needle, on the point of a needle, about 25,000 neurons could be placed on the tip of the needle. So just imagine how many you have in your brain. And right now your brain is just about completely developed, but it won't get completely done till you're about 20 or 21 years. So continue to eat well, exercise, and mostly exercise your brain so that you will be bright and adaptable as the world keeps changing as we can see with the coronavirus. Imagine all over the world, people are going through the same kind of experience that we are going through in the United States. So when you get to high school, you'll have new books, new teachers, and you'll be learning how to take notes, listen more carefully, and think because your brain is like a muscle. And the more you exercise it, the tougher, the stronger it becomes. Because all of us have an interest in one thing or another. Music, art, science, anything you can imagine. All of us like some things better than others. And so by developing our brain power, you might say, you'll be able to enjoy what you like and do whatever you like. And so I want to wish you good luck in high school and hope that before very long, you'll be getting ready to go to college. So to the graduates of Dr. Nava Learning Academy, once again, I want to congratulate you and wish the very best for you in the future. Thank you, Dr. Nava. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. I present to you the culminating class of 2020. best you can be the king calm banging on your chest you can beat the world you can beat the war you can talk the guy go banging on his door you can throw your hands up you can beat the clock yeah. you can move a mountain you can break rocks you can be a master don't wait for luck dedicate yourself and you go find yourself standing in the hall of fame yeah. and the world's gonna know your name You can run the mile You can walk straight through hell with a smile You could be the hero You could get the gold Breaking all the records They thought never could be broke Yeah, do it for your people Do it for your pride And you're never gonna know If you never even try Do it for your country Do it for your name Cause there gonna be a day When you're standing in the hall of fame yeah. And the world's gonna know your name
We believers, we leaders, we astronauts, we champions, we truth seekers, we students, we teachers, we politicians, we preachers, we We believers, we leaders, we astronauts, we champions, standing in the hall of fame. Just as long as you stand, stand by me And darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me, stand by me And I'm chasing sleep 
Everybody's worried about me And too deep Say I'm in too deep And it's been two years I miss my home But there's a fire burning in my bones Still believe Yeah, I still believe And all of those things I didn't say Wrecking balls inside my brain I will scream them loud tonight Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song Take back my life song Prove I'm my right song My power's turned on Starting right now I'll be strong I'll play my fight song And I don't really care if nobody else believes Cause I've still got a lot of fight left in me Like a small boat on the ocean Sending big waves into motion Like how a single word can make a heart open I might only have one match But I can make an explosion This is my fight song Take back my life song Prove I'm alright, so Congratulations, eighth graders. We look forward to hearing all the wonderful things you will achieve. Well, now we have come to the end of the virtual culmination for the class of 2020. Thank you for joining us.